In this video I'm going to talk about the new Lidl smart home devices that just came out last week. Lidl entered the smart home revolution with a number of Zigbee devices consisting of a Zigbee gateway, a door window sensor, motion sensor, a power strip, a smart plug and various light bulbs. I was very curious about these and since the Zigbee gateway I ordered from AliExpress was taking a lot more than expected to arrive, I bit the bullet and purchased one in order to integrate three new thermostatic heads for my radiators. And since I was in the shop, I also purchased two E27 smart bulbs, two GU10 color smart bulbs, and a two meter LED strip, all Zigbee based. The good thing about buying local is that you can easily return them if there is a problem unlike products from Aliexpress. So how good are they? Let's find out. The Zigbee Gateway comes under Lidl's own brand Silvercrest. In the box you get the Gateway, a mains to USB power adapter, a USB to micro USB cable, some raw plugs and screws if you want to mount it on a wall. There is also a paper guide for mounting and some user manuals in the local languages. I immediately set out to install the gateway. It connects to the router or a network switch using an Ethernet cable. It is not possible to connect it via Wi-Fi, so you are a little limited with regards to where you can place it. Lidl created their own app, Lidl Home, which is basically a clone of the Tuya Smart app. I didn't want to use the Lidl Home app, since I already have other devices using the Smart Life app, I decided to try to integrate the Zigbee Gateway into the Smart Life app. The app immediately detected the gateway and added it to the list of devices. However, I was unable to add any devices to it, it would just not detect them. After fiddling around for a couple of hours, removing and trying to re-add the gateway to the app, I managed to re-add the gateway to the app and connect the bulbs. But immediately after adding them, their status went to offline. I then realized that the gateway was also offline every one to two minutes and that's why the bulbs also showed offline. Then it would come back online and then it would go again offline. At that point I realized there was something wrong with the gateway. So I packed it back and I went to the little store and they replaced it for me without any hassle. I returned home with the new gateway, added it into the Smart Life app, added the bulbs, everything went very smooth this time. No more devices going offline, everything worked well. I guess it was just bad luck on my part buying a faulty device. The E27 color bulb consumes 10 watts and gives a white light of 806 lumen. When used in color mode, it is not very bright. It is more like an ambient light. I compared it with the Xiaomi E-light bulbs, which give 800 lumens of light. In white mode there is no visible difference, but when using colors the E-light is a lot brighter than the little bulb. I did not have a lux tester to check by how much, but it is clearly visible with the naked eye on various colors. Adding this to the Zigbee gateway is very simple. Initially, when you turn them on, they will be in pairing mode, flashing slowly. If they aren't, and the light is static, the way to put them in pairing mode is by using a combination of on-off, on-off, on at the switch. They should then start flashing slowly and then you can press add into the app and the gateway will detect them in about 10 to 20 seconds. The process is exactly the same for the GU10 bulbs and for the LED strip. The GU10 color bulb only consumes 5.5 watts and give a more modest light of 350 lumen. Not very bright when I compare them with my normal GU10 bulbs. 
that I use in the house but these are supposed to be more like ambient lights and are not expected to be used as normal light bulbs. The color change is very smooth using the app. One observation about these bulbs, they are a little longer than the standard GU10 bulbs, just like the IKEA Smart GU10 bulbs and the Shelly GU10 bulbs are. Um, and I believe this is in order to hold the extra electronic parts they carry to make them smart. Even that, they won't fit into some downlighters, you'll have to check if they fit yours. Both of these bulbs cost uh, 12 uh, euros 99 each. I believe it is a good price for a Zigbee smart bulb. These bulbs will also act as repeaters for other Zigbee battery power devices, helping to create a mesh throughout the house. Now let's have a look at the LED strip. It is a 2 meter LED strip. It comes with a driver and a power supply. You need to add it to the gateway just like any of the other devices. It can output 16 million colors and the white light tone can easily be controlled. The strip is auto adhesive and has a silicone co uh, cover which protects it from moisture. It should work outside as long as you protect the contacts from the elements. I use it as an atmosphere light behind the living room couch. There is also an extender in the box for adding another strip to it if you like, but as far as I know Lidl don't sell these strips separately but only as part of a kit. But I think it should work with other LED strips as long as they use the same voltage. Lidl sell these LED strips for €22.99 Euros which is a good price for a full kit. All of these devices can be controlled with Google Home. You can share them with a family member or add them to a group. So what is my opinion on, about these products? Well, leaving aside the problem I had with the faulty Zigbee gateway, which I consider an accident and which Lidl replaced without any issues, I think these are good Zigbee products. I was a little disappointed when Home Assistant didn't detect the bulbs I had added to Smart Life, but then I was able to integrate them via ZHA and the Sonos Zigbee bridge. For the price, they are worth buying. I cannot comment on how long they will last, since they are new products, but so far I am content with the quality. I would have preferred if the color bulbs were a little brighter, especially in color mode. But other than that, I like the ease of use, the ability to control them using the voice assistants, and the good price. I have not yet tested the motion sensor and the smart plugs, but I intend to do it in another video. If you think this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Until the next time, all the best.